my channel. I'm not gonna lie, we're on our way down to Plymouth and I haven't had the best start of the journey because this happened. But yeah, we're making our way down to Plymouth, slowly but surely, in about two hours time. My grandma's gonna pick me up and we're gonna head to the pool. So walking back into the life center, which is where I used to train day in, day out, leading into 2012. Great facility, it's where the nationals are gonna be held this weekend. And Lance is coming along to go to the gym too. Somebody's gotta show you boys how it's done. Right, okay, well here goes, first training session. How you feeling about your new trunks, mate? Yeah, man. Freaking love it. The perks of being your super partner. <laughs> <laughs> So, getting in, we've only gone and got ourselves on some new trunks. Oh, Matty's buzzing about some new trunks, and we got these poncho towels mm -hmm. to use in competitions, so you'll see them soon. <laughs> Recovery. always nice being back home in Plymouth because this is where I grew up. This is my family home. It's changed a little bit now that we've got stuff for Robbie to play with. I've also got like, it's also nice to have reminders of my dad and pictures of, you know, family up and about everywhere. Although my brothers seem to think that there's like a Tom shrine in the house and I don't believe that's true, but I'm just gonna show you some of the photos. <laughs> But I mean, I wouldn't call it a shrine as such. Since being down in Plymouth, my mum's friend has a horse. So we took Robbie along to meet this horse and oh my goodness, it was the cutest thing. Well, it wouldn't be in Plymouth if we didn't take Robbie to see some horses. Uh, Rangerton. Look at the horses, Robbie. Yeah. And you've got your Texas boots on. Yeah, hiya. Say hiya. Look at Nana. Nana's touching the horses. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. Should we ride a horse, Robbie? He's already pulling the reins. And after that, we went for a meal with my grandparents because we don't get to see them that often, so it was nice to have some time with just them. And they are literally the cutest thing. And we took a photo of them, and it, they were like synchronized with cheese, and it was all too much. You can look at mine. There you go. One, two, three. Cheese. Cheese. There you go. Cheese. <laughs> Before I got down to Plymouth, we did a training competition, a practice one for the nationals, and. I managed to do the whole list for my individual dives. So I started off with my reverse three and a half. The reverse three and a half was a little bit short. Then it was a bit short, wasn't it, Robbie? And then I moved on to my even three and a half, that was a little bit over. So they're my two easiest dives, and I was the ones that I messed up. And then I did my front three and a half somersaults with one twist, which is one of my harder dives, which I did really well. <laughs> then my arm sound back triple somersault was also pretty good. My front four and a half was the best dive of the competition. And then I finished with my back three and a half pipe with a little bit over. So it wasn't necessarily the best competition, but pretty happy with like the first hit out. And I think I scored something like 519. So if I'm hitting over 500 at this point in the season, I'm happy. So most of the prep for the competition this weekend is done. I mean, there's still bits that I'm going to be doing, but beforehand I'm going to be doing some Interviews with Nick Hope there for the BBC. Um, there's gonna because the events are actually gonna be streamed live. So well, by the time you've seen this video, it's already too late. You've missed it. 
but you can look out for next week's vlog because I'm going to do a whole diving vlog and you'll be able to see it. So this is the pool that I dived in before the Olympic Games in 2012. It's where, it's not actually the dark pool that I dived in my whole life because there was a pool that was way, a little bit more gross than this one. Um, whereas this is a lovely new facility at the Life Centre and it's got a great dry dive, great pool. So looking forward to competing. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a national championships, mainly because I've either been injured or I've been coming back from the Olympics and taking a bit of a break. So I'm looking forward to getting out there and competing. Mom. What's your mom doing? She's got the afternoon off, so come out for a little bit of bite to eat. Little man beside us. And yeah, we're gonna eat some Japanese food. Um, mm. Well, there's a little insight into what my training's been like in the lead up to the nationals. It's now tipping it down with snow here in Plymouth. Make sure you tune in for next week's vlog, vlog to find out how I did it at the Nationals. You probably already know by now because I might have posted on Instagram how it went. But anyway, if you want to watch it all and all that kind of stuff, stay tuned for my next vlog. But anyway, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. I need to get inside because I'm blimmin' freezing. Make sure you subscribe and bye.